Coach Allen has, has talked long and long about uh, the vision that he had for this program and such, and, and, and getting to a place like Saturday is, is where he expected to be at some point. Can you take me back to your days uh, as a senior in high school in Tampa and what he said to you and talked about to you and how that whole vision has sort of played out in your three years? Yeah, um, definitely when I was a senior in high school, you know, in the recruiting process, he was he was true from the start. He always was telling me that Indiana is going to be a, a Big Ten contester for the Big Ten championship. and. And uh, that we're going to go, you know, we're going to win a lot of games uh, if you come here. And, you know, just the guys that we're recruiting, it's going to be a good class. And uh, we're, he was, you know, he was just so enthusiastic about the change that was going to go on at this program. And you could just see it in, in his eyes and the way he talked. It was just so convincing. And uh, I think that just led me to believe in him and believe in the program and the change that was going on and led me to want to commit here for sure. All right, Kevin, then John. Yeah, Mike, uh, just uh, what have you seen so far from Ohio State on film and just the challenge? They're fairly explosive offensively and with fields and so forth. Uh, how, how much of a challenge is it going to be for this defense uh, coming off uh, arguably your best game of the season? Yeah, um, I mean, it's, you know, like you said, they got a great quarterback, great, you know, offense as a whole, just receivers on the outside and everything. But it just comes down to, you know, our defense executing fundamentally and t doing what our coaches tell us to do each week and each day and performing at a high level and getting prepared that way uh, throughout the week just so we can we can go on game day and just feel confident in everything that we do and feel prepared and uh, just play lights out, play fast and physical, just play that Indiana football that we always talk about and, and just be ready to go. And, you know, you can't really – Think about oh, it's Ohio State or some you know Big Ten matchup. You just gotta, you know, you just gotta prepare like you always prepared and attack each week with uh, the same mindset. And I think that's what we're gonna do, and that's what we've been doing. And you know, just keep working at it. All right, John and then Zach. Uh, going back to high school again, um, you were a JV player still in your your tenth grade year. I mean, it was in really junior year where you kind of really started to break out a little bit. Um, what was it that changed? Uh, during your high school career, that part that kind of made you into the player that you were as a junior and senior, and how did you carry whatever that was that you learned forward to be able to have such an impact early at IU? Yeah, uh, like you said, you know, I played JV as a sophomore, and uh, I think that off season, just going into, you know, a junior spring ball kind of deal in Florida, um, just my JV coaches and some of the varsity coaches, you know, some of the varsity guys might have not seen it as much but definitely the JV coaches were always telling me that you know you're going to be a beast here next year and you know even personally if I didn't always see it or wholeheartedly believe it you know it was always I could always tell that you know these guys believed in me and they trusted that, that my talent could get get me on the field and and go perform at a high level and I think just it was those words that I kept hearing every day you know just them in my ear telling me how good I could be and how how hard I need to work to get there and just the continuous effort to do that, I think, just got me to that mindset and got me to that next uh, that next level to prepare for a varsity type, you know, season that I had my junior year. All right, Zach, then we're closing. Forgive me, I don't know if there's a short answer to the question, but uh, somebody asked you just a little while ago about Coach Allen's message recruiting you out of Tampa, but there's been a lot made in particular of just how many Tampa guys have come up here in the last few years, bought into Tom, uh, Coach Allen. I know he's obviously got strong relationships down there, but just as a Tampa kid who maybe went through that process and, and probably got to know some of those players through the recruiting process as well, how does that pipeline build in your mind to a place like Indiana when it is kind of far from home? It's, it's probably not a program that has a ton of resonance down there, at least in the, in the traditional way that some of the more local programs would just, just how does something like that kind of build on itself so quickly? Yeah. Uh, you know, like you said, a lot of us are from Tampa, but I think it was just, you know, Coach Allen did a good job of maybe finding the guys that maybe didn't have all the the biggest offers in the world or anything like that, but he could tell they were good players and just hard workers. And a lot of the guys from Tampa, you know, we saw each other committing or saw some guys commit early or whatever. And I think a lot of us were encouraged to see how many Florida guys were were on that uh, were in our class that were coming here. And and you know, Coach Allen definitely influenced and uh, emphasized that when he would come and talk to us about you know who the recruits are and and how many guys he's got up there. But 
I mean, yeah, it was really exciting just to hear, you know, his his idea for it and to see the other guys who, you know, who was going to come up and it was, you know, like Mike Penix and all those guys. It was, it was really exciting and uh, definitely, you know, encouraged to come up to Indiana and play hard for him. All right, Rick and then Paul. Rick, Rick you're, you're muted, Rick. Sorry about that. Uh, you've been one of Indiana's top tacklers all season, one of the best linebackers for the last couple of years. You were a, a good recruit, but you weren't, you know, five-star or something like that. What did recruiters miss about you, and did you grow up wanting to play in the SEC or for the Gators or the Seminoles? Um, yeah, I mean, maybe, you know, as a young, young kid in Florida, I probably – had a dream of, you know, going and playing at an SEC school or just, you know, any type of Power 5 college program. But, you know, I think it was just maybe coaches saw or missed out maybe on a little bit of a speed factor. Or, you know, maybe I was a little undersized. But um, I think I was just kind of had a nose for the ball and just kind of, you know, that, that kind of can be missed in camps or stuff like that because I wasn't always going to, you know, whatever camps throughout uh, high school and stuff like that. And I think I just, you know, just kind of played and showed how I played uh, throughout my high school career on the film. And uh, Coach Allen definitely, you know, he, he knew that and saw it when he recruited me and uh, told me that when I came up here on visits and stuff. So it was, uh, yeah, he, he definitely saw it. But, you know, it's easy to miss out on things like that. All right, Paul, and Tom Brew. Hey, Micah, yesterday uh, Coach Womack said that when they put you out there as a freshman, you just kind of ran all over the place, chased the ball, and made plays. How have you progressed uh, the last three years? Um, I'd say definitely just fundamentally, like you said, kind of as a freshman, you know, it was difficult learning the defense. You know, Coach Allen was the D.C. and Coach Kane was calling it. But as a young kid, uh, as a young freshman, I was just I was trying to pick up the defense, but also I was just out there kind of, running around, like you said, making plays and just trying to find the ball. But uh, just over these last few years, I feel like it's just been honing in on what I have to do and communicating with the guys around me and understanding the defense uh, as a whole and uh, being able to, you know, not just understand what I'm doing in my position, but understand, you know, the coverage or the front or, you know, just understanding other people's jobs and responsibilities. That's really helped me. and helped uh, help the people around me grow too. And uh, I've just been able to communicate and be confident in what I'm doing and fly around, so. All right, Tom, and then John Black. Micah, in watching uh, games this year compared to last year, it seems like the defense is, is, is doing so much more uh, from a diversity standpoint too. A lot of different looks, a lot more different looks. How much has that helped in regards to being successful as you guys have had, and, and is that an experience factor of having so many guys out there who've played a bunch now who can dive right into to doing all those different things and, and being successful at it? Yeah, definitely. Um, it's definitely an experience thing. Got guys are uh, they know they're locked in. They know exactly what they have on on each play. But it's also you know the coaches getting us right in the get, getting us in the right positions to make plays that we can make and uh, you know setting up defenses that are you know, maybe difficult to pick up or, you know, blitzes that are difficult to pick up, coverages that are hard to read and stuff like that. So, um, but it makes it easier, it makes it easier for us to just know our job and fly around and make plays, see the ball and uh, converge on it. And it's, you know, it's better as a whole, as you can see throughout this year. But um, I think it's just, you know, it's come down to that experience point where we have multiple guys on the defense that have played for a few years now and, uh, know exactly what they have to do on each play. All right, John, last one. Uh, you're talking about just the enter the effort that you put in to get so much better in high school. Um, I know obviously your older brother played football too, but like what motivated you and made you just so driven to want to be better and to, I mean, play with the energy and the effort that you play with now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like you said, my, my older brother was a huge influence for me. Um, he, was, he was a better athlete than me when I was younger for sure and he still is but he was always pushing me encouraging me telling me that you know you can be as good as you want to be you just got to put in the work and you just got to you know chase your dream if that's what you want to do you got to chase your dream you got to go get it and uh you know throughout high school he definitely he was a senior when I was a freshman and I just got to see how he worked and how he played and how he 
how he was as a leader and a teammate. He was a captain as well in the high school and, and in college, and uh, he just, you know, he really exemplified all those things I just said. And it was, it was kind of easier for me to just follow and compete with him. All right, thanks, Michael. Thanks, guys.